Caper has debuted on Geek and Sundry's main channel, and I can't be more excited. I'm a big fan of web series. I enjoy The Guild, Dorm Life. I first learned about web series, and they started to become big when Lonely Girl 15 came out on YouTube. And so it's always great to see a new one come out that I'm excited about. If you haven't seen Caper yet, it's about a series of superheroes who live together in an apartment in LA, the city of Angles, as they call it, and they struggle with real-world situations even though half of them are immortals, while trying to still do the whole superhero thing. The characters are Penny, who is also the machine, Luke Washington, who was a journalist, is now a blogger, and is now the trooper, Alexia, who is a kind of assassin, and Dagger, who is the twelfth son of a Norse god. Now I don't want to say that the characters are based off of other characters that you might already know from superhero universes, but if I had to guess they might be inspired by characters that rhyme with Schmiron Man or Woman, Schmore, Schmack Widow slash Schmunder Woman, and Schmapped in America. Again, this is all speculation. It's a neat take on the superhero genre though because they don't live in a super high-tech lair, they don't have all the means that they would like to save the world and keep LA safe. There's very much a human aspect to the show where even though half of these characters are immortals, they still struggle with everyday problems. It reminds me of the Dexter's uh, Laboratory mini show, The Justice Friends, where a bunch of superheroes are living together in one apartment and struggle to live with one another. In the previews and the first two episodes, the show hints at a heist that is coming up, and I'm really excited to see where they're going with that. I love heist things, so I like Ocean's Eleven, I love the train job episode of Firefly, and um, it, it's gonna be good, I think. So far with favorite characters, I think Dagger is probably my favorite character. He's the twelfth son of a Norse god, he's immortal, and uh, he's totally full of himself. He was sent to Earth as a punishment, is uh, what it sounds like in the first episode, but he's really enjoying it. He, he looks like he goes to clubs, he shaves with an axe, and orders people around, thinks everyone's at his beck and call because he's pretty freaking awesome. Also, I won't ruin it, but there was a very awesome cameo from Scott Bakula. You'll have to see where he comes in. The show splits between live action and a comic book style of action with the uh, fighting sequences. I really like that since superheroes and comics naturally go together. But I'd be lying if I said that I didn't want to see all the characters' costumes that you see in the comic segments. Episodes 1 and 2 are out right now on YouTube and Hulu. I highly urge you to check them out. I was really happy with them and I'm very excited to see what happens next. If you've already watched Caper, tell me in the comments what you think about it and what you are looking forward to in the series. Stay super!